Hello everyone. Welcome to Art Jeeves Medics. I am your friend Onak and today I am going to share some brief information regarding clubbing. So let's begin. What comes in our mind when we think of clubbing? Obviously the answer is fingers. So the clubbing is term related to the fingers. The word clubbing is actually is not a disease or a disorder but it is a sign of disease. So actually the clubbing is painless soft tissue deformity of tibia phalanges and increase in the convexity of nail beds the clubbing is taking place symmetrically that means it is taking place in both the hands or both the toes but in rare cases there may be unilateral clubbing is seen due to the arteriovenous distension or any av shunt deformity clubbing can be acquired or congenital but the proportion of the acquired is more compared to the congenital clubbing now move on the examination of clubbing by observing the nail plates and distal ip joint we can get the basic idea of clubbing estimation of depth at the distal ip joint this is the distal ip joint and in clubbing there is a decrease in the depth at the distal ip joint or we can say like that there is a decrease in the anterior posterior diameter at the level of distal interphalangeal joint there will also some changes in hyponychal angle hyponychal angle is also known as lubibond angle usually the lubibond angle is less than 165 degree but due to the increased convexity in nail beds the lubibond angle is distorted and its range go up to the 180 degree or more than that clubbing can also be assessed by asking the patient to put his or her corresponding ring finger together like this and look for normal diamond shaped fossa in between them if there is a presence of normal diamond shaped space in between their fingers it means there is no clubbing and it is called as a positive scamroth sign or the scamroth window is present in clubbing there is an obliteration of normal diamond shaped fossa in between these two fingers we would like to call them as an absence of scamroth sign or absence of scamroth window the most cases of clubbing are associated with fluctuation of nail beds so we need to examine the fluctuation of nail beds we need to fix the distal ip joint of patient and by applying the corresponding pressure from our index finger we can judge there is a fluctuation is present or not so briefly we can confirm the case of clubbing if the person is having now first increase in the thickness of the digit at the level of nail beds compared to distal interphalangeal joint second the increase in the nail bed angle that is increase in the lubibond angle normally it is less than 165 degree but in clubbing it may range up to 190 degrees number third absence of scamroth window it means when a person brings his nail beds corresponding with together there is a absence of normal diamond shaped fossa number 4 in most of the cases of clubbing there is a fluctuation of nail beds is seen now pathophysiology of clubbing it may be due to the vasodilation it means there is a proximal vascular condition may lead to clubbing and this clubbing is not symmetrical but it is a unilateral clubbing it may be due to the certain tumors and carcinomas because this tumors and carcinomas secretes gh factor that is growth factor overproduction of the prostaglandin e2 by the certain tissues may lead to the clubbing now the causes of clubbing the causes of clubbing are divided into congenital or acquired the congenital is up to 5 to 10 percentage which is quite lower than acquired causes in acquired causes the majority is occupied by thoracic type of etiology it means the lungs or it disorders leads to clubbing pulmonary tuberculosis bronchiectasis mesothelioma fibroma and lung fibrosis now in the cardiovascular etiology in the cardiovascular etiology the congenital causes are congenital heart anomaly may leads to the clubbing and in acquired causes there is a infective endocarditis of heart and av shunt or aneurysms in the gastrointestinal etiology the causes of clubbing are cirrhosis inflammatory bowel disease and the celiac disease some other etiology may lead to clubbing like thyrotoxicosis or hypertrophic osteoarthropathy now treatment of clubbing remember clubbing itself is not a disease but it is a sign of disease so clubbing is disappear if we treat the underlying cause of clubbing treatment is required in such rare conditions like there is a severe vasodilation or any shunt deformity i hope you like this video and thank you for watching